This is a Luke Skywalker which I built for Star Wars Day last year. This year, well you've seen the title and thumbnail. I chose the dark side and built Darth Vader so he and Luke could fight. Here's how I built him and what happened next. As always with these projects, it started with 3D printing. A whole lot of 3D printing. Then I removed all the support material. I had to print the helmet in two parts so I had to glue them together. I knew I'd need to fill this gap, but I also messed up a few prints, so frustratingly I had repairs to do. So I filled, sanded, primed, and then painted. The end result wasn't perfect, but looked good enough for me. What you might not know is when working on these big projects, I often test it out with a small scale version. This is the one for this project. I'm going to give it away. All you need to do is find a four letter code I've hidden around this video and follow the link in the description to enter. Back to the video. Next step was to gather all the electrical and hardware bits required for the build. And then I could get building. I started with the lightsaber. This was relatively straightforward having built Luke last year, although I did make a few mistakes. Now I needed to add his all important graphics, so I printed those out and got them applied. With those added he was beginning to look really good but still needed his cape. I got some thick back cotton and painted on some white glue to try and stiffen it up a little. Then I made a template and cut it out. The cape is surprisingly big. It didn't turn out perfect, but usable. And finally, Vader was complete. If you're wondering about height, the minifigure is 4.5cm, mini Vader 27cm and the big one 58cm. All that was left was to combine Luke and Vader, and after a little bit of coding I had it so they'd both move in sync with each other. I have to admit, the first time it all worked out I had a pretty massive smile on my face. The plan was to put them out in public for the whole of the 4th, but Scottish weather had other ideas. Luckily around 5pm a break in the rain came and I took the chance to get them out at the Esplanade in Abbey. Then I stepped back a bit and watched a few reactions. It was so satisfying to see people stopping, smiling and grabbing a photo. These two even stopped twice. Then the most nerve wracking bit, I left them unattended for a few hours. When I came to collect them I had no idea if I'd still be working or even be there. Fortunately they were both there and working, so I got one last shot and now they're safely back on my shelves. So I've built Luke and Darth Vader. Now the question is who do I build next year? I'm thinking R2D2 or C3PO. Let me know your ideas in the comments. If you need more of a Star Wars fix, why not watch my Lars Homestead build? It's my biggest project so far.